the job, when were their salaries negotiated, and was it before the dossier leak? But, in what universe are the Nihilist Bullshitters Corporation and the Clinton Necrophilia Network not under investigation? Cool. 
Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. My friend Israel USA forever at Israel USA forever. Retweet if you agree that Michelle Obama. was the worst first lady, not only in American history, but in the history of all humankind. Fuck you! That's what all the Dems be like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, huh? Compared to the people in Italy, you got it great, man. So why complain? What's the point, man? For real. Also, breaking news. Breaking news. According to my friend, Real Magazine, also known as Mac the Patriots. Supreme Court rules in favor of a baker named Jack Phillips, owner of a Lakewood bakery, who refused to make a wedding cake for a gay couple because the ruling states that he did not violate, did not violate. Did not violate the anti discrimination law because it went against his religious beliefs. Now, speaking about that riot in Italy over this populist election victory, I saw it earlier this morning, and let me tell you, it was a hell of a riot. Tell you. I laughed at it because it was so damn funny. In fact, I even made a short 32 second rap about it by compiling certain second long slimmed down versions of memes that I made. Combining one big ass meme, shut that shit out, motherfucker, because you're going to be. Bro, let me ask you something. Have you lost your fucking mind? Millennials. <laughs> fucking useless. <laughs> Idiots. Bro, let me ask you something. Have you lost your other one? <laughs> fucking mind. Bro, <laughs> fucking useless. Millennials. <laughs> fucking mind. Idiots. My friend Tracy at Lil Bully 1031 says, So, we have our granddaughter over for a few days, our first, so we haven't watched cartoons in a while. We turn on Amazon for the classics that we ourselves watched as children, and this disclaimer pops up. We believe that the crap on TV today is far worse. Do you agree? Absolutely, yeah. There's no question. Exactly. I mean, even a 70-year-old person like myself knows that the cartoons back then were tame compared to the cartoons of now. 
so it's pretty obvious, right? But meanwhile, my friend Chuck Galesto, at Chuck Galesto, says that the Supreme Court sides with a baker who needs to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. Which is basically what I said earlier as regarding your previous tweet. Meanwhile, my friend, fellow Trump contact, Chuck Woolery says, a five-year-old kid's legal battle for the right to make a cake or not is a clear example of why we Let's go to Cambridge, Massachusetts for another round of Retard University. Because obviously calling them Harvard is too good enough for them. And with good reason. Dr. Abi Kumar. So I can go jump jump. You got your best, this is bullshit. My friend BDX Mike Bivens at It's Mike Bivens. Cut this breaking story. That man whose face was busted open when I got here, he says, was wearing a Rashid Wallace jersey. Right? He also says, anti fashion came out on top in that last exchange. Of course they did. I just got here to the rally and protest and something fell up. Sorry. Hashtag Facebook. He also says, some guy just shouted out, THE NAZIS ARE LOSING! Yeah, right, well, they are. But the Nazis. Pepper spray was deployed. Cops start pushing back. The milk jug is thrown. And this, that, and the other. What well, uh, the fuck else? I don't care. Does it look like I care? Does it? Does it? Do I care? Do I give a shit at this point? Do I fucking care? No. From what I observed, he says, a black-clad protester was seen attempting to produce something from a backpack, and police pounced. Unclear if this is an arrest. Of course it's an arrest! No shit! No shit! This man was arrested by DHS police and taken into the federal building shouting, I'm compliant. Yeah. Another wild brawl at 5th by City Hall. This stuff is crazy. Violet is all hell. Let's pay tribute to our latest dumbass. Introducing David the Fuck Card Hog. He's an ass kisser, a little bit of pisser. But most importantly, he's a pisser. <laughs> This guy is a pisser. Can you say pisser? Pisser! But that, unfortunately, is not the worst of it. The worst of it is that he's a fucking pisser! Laugh at his ass, huh? You're a pisser, buddy. You're a pisser, 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 and an ass pisser. Can somebody behead this fuck? <laughs> So, Grand Poobah Jackass, Jerry Boopy Brown, Governor of California, illegally signed a law that prohibits you from taking
taking a shower and doing laundry on the same day with a $1,000 per day fine if you go above your bill on it. 55 gallons of daily water usage. Utility companies are encouraged to spy on you to ensure compliance. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, check this out. Check this out. You're never gonna believe this. You're never gonna believe this. This is her current line. So the monkey is Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Talk about getting owned. Donald Trump style. Opa Trump style. been pardoned by President Donald John Trump and says that he's suing James Comey and Barack Obama. Buddy, you're absolutely right for thinking that, but you're not so right for thinking that it's going to work. Sir, do you realize how much obstruction Comey and Barack Obama are going to cause on their own. They're going to make sure that you don't win, buddy. But, but yeah, in all seriousness, though, do go ahead and sue them. Because they deserve to be sued to high hell. Not just by you, but the entire world population. No amount of money can suffice what they did to you, buddy. You know what they deserve? to be publicly hung from the rafters or a gallows bowl because they absolutely for over 18 months now. I don't get it. I don't know what your deal is, Jeff Sessions, but your deal ain't working because it's shit. Your deal is shit, Mr. Sessions. Fuck off to a nursing home or kill yourself. That's the only way you're going to get out of this. Your friend and mine, Gay Gallops, at Gay underscore Gallops, says that the Democrats are at war each other and have no message whatsoever. No message. They have no election agenda. They have no campaign because of these two douchebag fucks right over here. Chuck the fucking cuck Schumer and Nancy Mamby Pamby Pelosi, the ass kisser of Barack and Michelle Obama who secretly masturbates to Andrew Jackson every night in her sleep while having sex with Chuck the fucking cuck shoot. By the way, what I said about Nancy and Chuck having sex with each other, that's just speculation, okay? Seriously. I mean, make what you want of it, but it's not gonna mean shit! No, it's not gonna mean shit! Facilitates 
Republican wins. Blue is officially turning blood red. Let's paint the town red, people. Let's paint the town red like there's no bastard tomorrow. Let's paint the fucking town red. It's time, people. It fucking Don't even try to buy their bullshit. It's not true. Okay? If you know that what Nissan is selling is bullshit, don't buy into it. Alright? Seriously. Don't buy into their crap. <laughs> It's time to stop! <laughs> now I gotta be Democrats be like, ah, fuck you! Idiots. I'd like to share with you all a great big ass compilation of law moments directed specifically against liberals. Keep in mind some of these are offensive, so if you find them too cringe for your taste. Get the hell off my channel and go jack off the Justin Bieber. No, look at this guy. <laughs> he told me I was wrong and to check my facts. Then he provided me a link to CNN. Oh, <laughs> it's hilarious, man. I'm not gonna believe a word that fucker says. This guy's full of shit. This just in Donald John Trump just got caught with a hooker. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this is not Donald Trump? Wait, never mind. That's Bill Clinton. I misinformed you all. I'm sorry. Just forgive me for that. I mean, I just pulled a Piers Morgan in front of you all. Just forgive me. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. On second thought, no, I'm not sorry because you already fucking knew that was Bill Clinton before you looked at this picture. Please won't you be my neighbor. Good morning, boys and girls. Did you just discern their titties? Well, yes I did, actually. Because I don't give a fuck, that's why. Now, are you gonna be my neighbor? Or do I have to take out my AK-47 and wipe your fucking ass all over it? Huh? Huh? I don't care, just- Shut up. You don't make any sense. Just fuck off. You're not deserving enough to be my neighbor. Seriously, just- I mean, if you really think about it, I'm just gonna have to kill you now. Pay your attention over to this liptard jackoff over here. He sent you a CNN link, as in corporate necrophilia nihilism. Not the Clinton News Network, obviously, but still. And yet, he uses Bible verses. Bible verses to justify his facts. And why? Because the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Bullshit! Oh my god, it's the Statue of Liberty! Ah! I gotta call the ambulance! I gotta just sit my brain one time! I went live with your emergency. I saw a statue! Sorry, we don't cover emergencies like that. You want us to send 911 over there to kick your ass? Next time! On Liberals on the. No, I'm just kidding. The next time you feel stupid, uninformed, brainwashed, or mind bleed, or just plain old fucked in the ass anyway. Just remember, these are the people for whom people just like you who fall for their liberal bullshit get your news from. But you don't have to get your news from them anymore. You can just vote with it and join the Red Tsunami 2018, 2020, 2024, 2022, 2026, or so on. And stop falling for this shit! Hey, man! <laughs> ah. Damn! You wanna know what my favorite part of the 2016 elections are? Man, man, you ain't gonna believe this! Crying fake ass damn liberals! Cause they don't know their donkey's dick from their asshole! 
Because they don't give a shit about nobody. Because they're fucking stupid. Hey! I can have an abortion. It's my body. False. It's the baby's body. By the way, if it were your body, you'd be the one who dies. Not the baby. Well, I don't give a shit. I still want an abortion. Too late. You can't have one. It's already set in stone. It's legalized, man. It's illegal to have an abortion. This is Ahmed the dead terrorist. No, he's not Ahmed the dead terrorist. He's just called Ahmed. Well, it would be more fitting if he was called Ahmed the dead terrorist. Shut up! Anyway, this is Ahmed. He was born in Sweden. So, of course, according to any liberal ever, he would be Swedish. Knowing good and damn well that he was of terrorist descent. This is Pip. He was born in a stable, and according to every single Nazi by Democrat ever, he is a horse now. I mean, not that it makes any sense, but it gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody really needs to know that shit. Hey, look, son. Another lip dog with an impeached Trump fantasy. Really? That's a lip dog? What's a conservative? I am. You better listen to me before you listen to anybody else. Okay, I'll listen to you. Because you know I have a lot more than they do. Of course, son. Now go out there and play on that playground over there, or whatever the hell that thing is. I don't even know what to call it anymore because things change too much. I mean, this isn't the 1950s anymore, but still. You got it! That's it for this episode of Sport Bully War. Oh my god!